On the eve of a new Premier League season one would like to ask Mike Ashley one question where do you see Newcastle United's future not this campaign because survival is the first target, but long term. What are Ashley's ambitions regular membership of the Premier League, or something rather more ambitious I ask because the world of football is changing at such a rapid rate that most clubs are going to get left well behind. The astonishing world record fee of £198 million paid to Barcelona by Paris Saint-Germain for Neymar has smashed to smithereens every known boundary in the game. It is now an elitist world which will inevitably produce a breakaway European Super League of the great power bases. Now I'm not expecting United to be part of that. I'm enough of a realist not to even dream of such things. But football in this country is moving forward leaving most trailing in its wake. Look at what the two Manchester clubs have been paying this summer and look at how Rafa Benitez has had the scratch around trying desperately to get a striker in on the cheap. He cannot pay the fees most centre-forwards demand, nor the wages. He's even been trying to solve the problem with loan deals. Yet it's not so long ago that Sir John Hall was the visionary of the Premier League. When he smashed the world record with a £15 million capture of Alan Shearer and also signed the likes of Les Ferdinand, David Ginola, Peter Beardsley, Tino Asprilla and Andy Cole. His reward was two successive place runners-up finishes. It was Newcastle who had the dashing players, the entertainers. It seems a million years ago yet Hall was the last owner before we got Ashley. Those days are well gone but I repeat where does the current owner see United it would be nice to know. Is survival enough for mid-table long-term of course? I cannot see another Leicester City happening in this country. A run of the mill club is not going to become champions again because the rich are buying seats at Europe's top table more than ever before. We don't expect Newcastle to do that. They missed the opportunity when Kevin Keegan assembled the entertainers and then Sir Bobby Robson took United to third top in the Champions League. However, there is no reason why we should be grateful to be in the top division. An average gate of 51,000 plus in the championship was mind-boggling considering that the likes of Bert and Albion came here. The ironic thing is that United have a manager in Rafa Benitez who has won the Champions League and managed the truly big European clubs. There are no guarantees in football but surely he is the safest pair of hands to build up a club towards proud respectability. Would you rather have Alan Pardew or Steve McLaren spending your money or Rafa? He needs a centre-forward very badly at next week and he's in full battle against the might of Spurs. Time has found United out. We can only hope a big, big break is round the corner.